Imagine a universe that stretches beyond infinity, a realm where numbers and dimensions exceed our wildest dreams. Welcome to the fascinating world of transfinite universe theory. In this video, we'll explore a concept that pushes the boundaries of our understanding of space, time, and reality. Transfinite universe theory suggests that our cosmos may be far more complex than we ever imagined, with layers of infinity stacked upon each other like an endless cosmic onion. This isn't just about big numbers or abstract math. Transfinite universe theory challenges our fundamental ideas about the nature of existence and the limits of what's possible. It opens mind-expanding possibilities about multiple universes, dimensions beyond our own, and the true scale of creation. Transfinite Universe Theory is a concept that extends our understanding of the cosmos beyond the finite and into the realm of the infinite. At its core, this theory proposes that the universe may be infinitely large or contain infinite structures, challenging our traditional notions of space, time, and the nature of reality itself. The theory draws heavily from mathematical concepts of transfinite numbers, which are numbers larger than all finite numbers, but not necessarily equal to one another. In the context of cosmology, this translates to the idea that our universe might not just be very large, but truly infinite in extent or composition. This contrasts sharply with finite universe concepts, which assume the universe has definite measurable boundaries or a finite amount of matter and energy. Unlike finite universe models that can be fully described with conventional numbers and measurements, a transfinite universe requires more complex mathematical tools to understand its structure and properties. For example, the theory might use concepts like Aleph numbers, used to represent the cardinality of infinite sets, to describe different levels or sizes of infinity within the universe. The origins of transfinite universe theory can be traced back to the late 19th century with the groundbreaking work of German mathematician Georg Cantor. Cantor, often referred to as the founder of set theory, introduced the revolutionary concept of transfinite numbers and laid the foundation for our understanding of different sizes of infinity. Cantor's journey into the realm of the transfinite began with his studies of trigonometric series, which led him to explore the nature of infinite sets. His work culminated in the development of set theory and the introduction of cardinal and ordinal numbers to describe different levels of infinity. This was a radical departure from the prevailing mathematical thinking of his time, which largely avoided dealing with the concept of actual infinity. Another key figure in the development of transfinite concepts was Kurt Gödel, an Austrian-American logician and mathematician. Gödel's work in the early to mid-20th century significantly advanced our understanding of set theory and large cardinal axioms, which are crucial to the mathematical framework of transfinite universe theory. His incompleteness theorems, while not directly related to transfinite theory, had profound implications for our understanding of mathematical systems and the limits of formal reasoning. Other notable contributors to the field include David Hilbert, who formalized much of Cantor's work and posed important questions about the nature of infinity, and Paul Cohen, whose work on the continuum hypothesis further expanded our understanding of transfinite sets. It's important to note that the development of transfinite concepts was not without controversy. Many of Cantor's contemporaries, including Henri Poincaré and Leopold Kronecker, were skeptical of his ideas, viewing them as too abstract or even nonsensical. However, over time, Cantor's work gained acceptance and became a cornerstone of modern mathematics. The journey from Cantor's initial insights to the modern conception of transfinite universe theory spans over a century of mathematical and philosophical development. It represents a collective effort by numerous brilliant minds to push the boundaries of our understanding of infinity and the nature of the universe itself. 
transfinite universe theory has profound implications for our understanding of cosmology, challenging our current concepts of space and time, and opening up intriguing possibilities for the structure of reality. One of the most fascinating implications is the potential for multiple universes. The idea of a multiverse, where our universe is just one of many, gains new dimensions when viewed through the lens of transfinite theory. In this framework, the number of universes could be not just large, but truly infinite. This concept extends beyond the familiar idea of parallel universes to suggest a hierarchy of infinities, where each level of infinity could represent a different type or scale of universe. The theory also presents significant challenges to our current understanding of space and time. While our observable universe appears to have a finite age and size, transfinite theory suggests that this might be a limited perspective of a much larger, possibly infinite, structure. This raises questions about the nature of the Big Bang and whether our universe's apparent beginning was truly the start of everything or just a local event in a much vaster cosmos. Moreover, transfinite concepts challenge our intuitive notions of measurement and comparison. In a transfinite universe, traditional ideas of bigger or smaller may not apply in the ways we're accustomed to. This could have profound implications for how we understand cosmic structures and the relationships between different parts of the universe. However, it's important to note that these ideas, while mathematically intriguing, face significant challenges in terms of empirical verification. The very nature of infinity makes it difficult to test these concepts observationally, and some physicists argue that infinite models may introduce more problems than they solve. The debate between finite and infinite models of the universe remains an active area of research and philosophical discussion in cosmology. Despite these challenges, transfinite universe theory continues to inspire new ways of thinking about the cosmos. It pushes us to reconsider fundamental questions about the nature of reality, the limits of our universe, and our place within it. As we continue to explore these ideas, we may find that the true structure of the cosmos is even more amazing than we ever imagined. While transfinite universe theory remains largely theoretical, there are some intriguing pieces of evidence and mathematical foundations that lend support to the concept. Let's explore both the observational data and the mathematical underpinnings of this fascinating theory. From an observational standpoint, our current data about the universe is consistent with both finite and infinite models. The cosmic microwave background radiation which provides a snapshot of the early universe, shows a remarkably uniform temperature across vast distances. This uniformity could potentially be explained by an infinitely large universe that has always existed, rather than one that expanded from a finite point. Additionally, the observed flatness of space on large scales aligns well with the predictions of an infinite universe. In a flat universe, Parallel lines remain parallel forever, and the total energy density is exactly equal to the critical density. Current measurements indicate that our universe is flat to within a very small margin of error, which is consistent with, though not proof, of an infinite universe. The mathematical foundations of transfinite universe theory are particularly robust. They draw heavily from set theory and the concept of transfinite numbers, developed by Georg Cantor. These mathematical tools allow us to conceptualize and work with different sizes of infinity, providing a framework for understanding how an infinite universe might be structured. One key mathematical concept is the idea of Aleph numbers, which represent the cardinality, or size, of infinite sets. The smallest infinite cardinal number is Aleph Null, which represents the cardinality of the set of natural numbers. Larger transfinite numbers like Aleph 1, Aleph 2 and so on, represent increasingly larger infinities. This hierarchy of infinities could potentially correspond to different levels or scales of structure in a transfinite universe. 
Another important mathematical foundation is the concept of ordinal numbers, which extend the natural numbers into the transfinite. These provide a way to think about sequences and ordering in infinite sets, which could be relevant to understanding the structure and evolution of a transfinite universe over time. It's important to note that while these mathematical concepts provide a robust framework for thinking about transfinite universes, they don't constitute proof of such a universe. The challenge lies in connecting these abstract mathematical ideas to physical reality in a way that can be tested and verified. As our observational techniques and theoretical understanding continue to advance, we may gain more insights into whether our universe is truly transfinite. For now, the theory remains an intriguing possibility that pushes the boundaries of our cosmic understanding and challenges us to think beyond the finite. Despite its intriguing possibilities, transfinite universe theory faces significant criticisms and controversies within the scientific community. One of the main arguments against the theory is its highly abstract and speculative nature. Critics argue that the concept of transfinite numbers, while mathematically rigorous, may not correspond to any physical reality. This skepticism is rooted in the difficulty of empirically verifying or falsifying the existence of transfinite structures in the universe. As a result, some physicists and cosmologists view the theory as more of a mathematical curiosity than a viable model of the cosmos. Another major criticism revolves around the practical application of transfinite set theory to physical cosmology. Renowned physicist Roger Penrose, for instance, has pointed out that many fundamental questions in set theory, such as those involving the continuum hypothesis, remain formally unsolvable within the standard zermelo frankel set theory with the axiom of choice. This has led some to question whether the mathematical tools used in transfinite theory can provide meaningful insights into the physical universe. Additionally, the concept of a multiverse of all multiverses introduces paradoxes that challenge the coherence of the theory, suggesting that it may require a meta-concept beyond current mathematical frameworks. Ongoing debates in the scientific community reflect these criticisms. Proponents of transfinite universe theory argue that it offers a powerful framework for understanding the infinite complexities of the cosmos and that future developments in mathematics and physics may provide the necessary tools to explore these ideas further. They point to the potential for large cardinal axioms to calibrate degrees of unsolvability and provide a more structured understanding of infinite sets which could have implications for cosmology. On the other hand, skeptics maintain that the theory's speculative nature and lack of empirical support make it an unconvincing model of the universe. They argue that more grounded theories, which can be tested and observed, should take precedence in cosmological research. This ongoing debate highlights the tension between mathematical abstraction and physical reality, a central theme in the exploration of transfinite universe theory. In conclusion, while transfinite universe theory presents a fascinating and mathematically rich perspective on the cosmos, it remains a highly controversial and debated topic. The challenges of empirical verification and the abstract nature of its mathematical foundations continue to fuel discussions within the scientific community as researchers strive to reconcile these ideas with our understanding of the physical universe.